Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel in the first place. Today we have an Eda X listener, It's Late at Night by Kiorio on AO3. The link will be in the description, and let's go ahead and get into it. Listener was, generally speaking, a very angsty person. Not that that was a bad thing, of course. They had been through a lot of stuff, dealt with so much trauma, and fought through so many tough battles. They learned to deal with all of this by, well, dampening the mood for everyone they talked to. However, another way they learned to cope was stargazing. Every night when everyone was supposed to be asleep, they'd sneak out of their room and head outside to watch the twinkling lights and reflect on previous mistakes. It was a rather calming experience, and they would do it all the time if nighttime wasn't a limited thing. Listeners stretched their arms as they carefully picked themselves out of bed, making sure that not even the slightest noise could be heard. They gave themselves a tiny smile as they succeeded in getting out of bed without trouble. They gripped their hand on the door handle, very slowly turning it and pulling open the door. Their face and stomach fell when the door made a clearly audible creaking sound. They panicked for a moment. Nobody heard that, right? Surely it was too late for anybody else to be awake. Besides, the dorms had thick walls. They would be just fine. Listener levitated a jacket over from their conveniently open closet and pulled it over their shoulders. It was a cold night. They let out a soft sigh as they left the dorm room and gently pulled the door closed, this time without making a sound. They crept through the eerily quiet common space. It was a little scarier at night, with nobody else around. Usually, it was full of bright and happy future heroes chatting away as they prepared for the challenges of the school day. Now, there was nothing but furniture, air, and quite possibly bugs. Listener didn't have the time to think about that. All they wanted to do was go outside. They rushed over to the front door, as fast as they possibly could without making any noise, and pushed open the door. Finally, their temporary escape from reality. Listener. Their heart practically stopped. As they turned around, they hoped that whoever this person was wouldn't rat them out. They didn't want to deal with a lecture from Aizawa, or any other teacher. Soon, they were awkwardly facing Class 1A's representative and their very own boyfriend, Tenya Ida. They just knew they had screwed up. Tenya had always been a teacher's pet, and he never seemed to change his assertive and strict moral compass. Listener, what are you doing? It is two in the morning. Tenya's voice had a disapproving tone to it. He had his arms crossed over his chest. They were struggling to find the words. I was about to go stargazing, but uh, you kind of caught me. <laughs> I see. He chopped the air before pinching the bridge of his nose. Come with me now. He was acting more like a parent than a lover. They shook their head. I'll stay outside for a bit, then you can come get me. Tenya sighed. I did not want to do this, but because you're being so stubborn, Listener raised an eyebrow. What are you talking about? Oh my! Without hesitation, Tenya scooped his lover up and was now carrying them bridal style. You'll wake everyone up if you yell out like that, my dear. Tenya, what are you doing? They said in a hushed voice. You don't need to carry me. I'm not a kid. I'm taking you to my dorm room. I can't have you outside at this hour. You could get sick. He smiled and proceeded to walk them to his dorm. If you'd like, we can cuddle and talk there. We just need to keep our volume down. Listener thought for a moment. Well, I can't really argue with that. They gave Tanya a bright smile. Alright, let's go. The two spent an hour embracing in each other's arms and talking about their favorite memories before falling asleep together. It was noted a listener was significantly happier the next day. Alright, so that's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever. And I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye!